Hey guys, it's Jamie getting out the farm. Today, we're reviewing the RTV 520. We've had it about four months now. We've got 66.3 hours on it. Was it a good uh, purchase? Would we do it again? Do we really like it? Or would we wish we'd have got something else? Hang out with us. We'll review it, give you some pros, some cons, and we'll let you know what we think. Another thing with a Kubota is its towing capacity. So we've loaded a load of scrap metal. This will demonstrate how well uh, the RTV pulls and how much torque it has too. So let's, uh, let's see how it goes. It's got a grease hitch insert on the back and the front so you can pull forwards or backwards with it here's the load we have on it lots of old metal some old dozer uh, a-arm parts some old dozer track parts rollers some just lots of old dozer parts uh, so we got a pretty good load so I'll get you the actual weight when we leave. That way we'll know kind of how much it was pulling. We'll see if it will even hit that 1,200 pounds or not. We're really pleased with our TV so far. It's done everything we've asked from it. Uh, it's really been a game changer here on the farm. We'll talk some more about uh, things that we use it for every day. And even though I still have to take out the trash every day, it's not that bad now that I have a Kubota. It gives me a chance to drive it. Something I really like about the shifting mechanisms of the Kubota is everything is linkage and cables. There's no, there's no electric motors that need to be taken care of. The simplicity of the cables and the linkages I really like. So we use the Kubota every single day. There's either the mamas, the sow group has to be fed, or like this group, their feeders ran out today and I don't have time to get the tractor and get down here and fill it back up. But we're able to just throw three or four buckets of feed on here. It hauls it well, it makes it easy. I don't know why, you know, we did this with a pickup for a while before that but this just takes less time it's more convenient it's a lot easier just to throw things on the on this bug and keep it going I think in the long run it also saves us some money as well you know, we gas five dollars a gallon or 459 here in town a gallon uh, my truck does not get very good gas mileage. You can see that we keep fencing materials and buckets and bead bonnets and I mean it's just loaded down with junk. I don't know how we made it without it before so definitely enjoy the bed on it. Uh, definitely are enjoying the machine. It just makes our whole life of chores easier for us here on the farm.
The bed holds about 800 pounds capacity. It has a nice little dump bed on it. That's here. It's simple and easy. You can tell even with the stuff that we have in it. It's very easy to use. Even with all the stuff in it, it's really balanced. You know, it's not all to dump out, but it's really balanced. Basically operate it with one hand, no problem. So we've used that when we've hauled some wood chips around. We've hauled firewood with it. We've used it to haul bales of hay. The Kubota has the option of high range and low range. It also has the option of four wheel drive. And the option of a locking and the option of locking rear differential. Until we top the hill and we're going down the hill now. So go ahead and stop and let it stop. Foot completely off the gas, not touching the brake at all. And as you can see, we're almost stopping. With several other of the models that use a centrifugal belt. You would just be freewheeling down and have to use your brakes. But with a Kubota, I really like the option of having this transmission that the Kubota has in it, the VHT transmission. It really is like their small tractor transmission, and I really like it a lot better than the freewheeling that happens with a centrifugal belt that a lot of the smaller ATVs use or the RTVs use. Also, I really like the size of the RTV 520. It's about the same width as a regular golf cart, 55 inches wide. It'll fit on the back of a standard pickup. It really makes it good for it to be able to uh, be able to get through tight spots. It comes with the standard tires on it, the standard work tires. They call them a turf tire, a work tire, something like that. I'm really glad that I got those. Originally, I talked about trying to upgrade to the uh, ATV tire. I'm glad I didn't do that. There's a real big tread depth. They go in the mud well, and they feel really stable. I actually think they'll last longer than the, uh, than the ATV tires did, would or would have lasted. So... I'm glad that worked out. We went ahead and had the option of the windshield and had the roof installed as well. We had uh, the front bumper put on or brush guard put on and then we had a 3,000 pound winch added. But as far as the windshield and the roof cover, that was absolutely the best decision I made. Feeding in the rain, if it's raining, you're still going to get a little bit of uh, rain in on you from the sides, but honestly, that roof and windshield keeps a lot of that uh, water off of you, and I'm super glad that I did that. I'll be honest, I don't know really and truly how we made it before we had the RTV. So now let's talk about a couple of the cons. For me, there's just a few things that maybe... Uh, maybe could be better. Kubota's known for being a little slow. Top speed is about 25 miles an hour and that is flat out on the highway. There is a there is a dash, a little dash pocket, a couple of cup holders, a 12 volt uh, outlet there where you could charge your phone or something if you wanted to but basically that's the only storage that I have. One other thing that I would say that I wish Kubota would do is I wish they would have some storage space. There's plenty of places to put some storage or add some storage to this uh, vehicle, but they haven't, they haven't utilized it in my opinion. To continue on with the con about no space to store stuff is you have to remove this lower window to get to, to be able to open the hood here on the Kubota. And look, there's all of this space in here and you have your brake fluid and you have some of your basic cables and your horn. There is so much room in here that uh, Kubota could have utilized to put some storage box so that you could have a place to keep tools or something. I think they missed the boat a little bit or missed an opportunity to have some wonderful storage. 
I really like the look and the fit and the design of the plastics, but man, there's so much wasted space that there's nothing here that, uh, that you could put something in. Maybe there's an aftermarket for it. I'm not sure, uh, but I'll start looking for that and let you know. But uh, that would just be one of my one of my pet peeves that there's, there's really not not a lot of storage for it. Overall, we love it. My wife and myself both are super happy that we bought it. It is definitely a purchase that I would redo again. In my opinion, if you're on the fence about whether or not to invest into the Kubota RTV. I would definitely say go for it. The time the RTV saves us here on the farm has almost cut our chores in half. All in all, I guess you've already uh, figured out, yes, I would buy it again. It's been a great asset to our farm. It's increased our production. It's cut down the amount of times it take the amount of time it takes us to do anything. So guys, I hope this review helps you out a little bit. I hope those of you that are looking at the Kubota, I hope you'll buy it. I'm really, really happy with mine. I think it's gonna be a product that'll last well for us. It's not super fast. If you're looking for a speed demon and something to ride the track or the woods with, this is definitely not your machine. But if you're looking for something that'll be wonderful and useful on your farm, this is a great machine for you. You know, I wish it had more storage space. Kubota, again, if you're listening, you need to look into adding some more storage. It would be really beneficial to me as a farmer to keep a few things, a few tools uh, in that box, in the dry. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Continue to like our videos. Comment on what you think about this video. It sure helps me out when you just leave a comment. Subscribe to our channel. And as always, guys, we'll do it all again tomorrow, and we'll keep doing it with the Kubota RTV 520.